Hey, introduce yourself, girl. <laughs> Hi, people. My name is Sophie Ogutu from Nairobi, Kenya. So happy and humbled to be here in Boston, enjoying the morning coffee and the beginning of fall. So what are you doing in Boston, Sophie? I'm seeing, I'm up and about, enjoying every little bit of it. But I came here for a mission, and my mission was to meet my financial partners um, who support my work, the work that we do in the, con in the continent. And I'm glad, yeah, because we are moving towards uh, greater heights, and that's, that's, that's an amazing thing. Tell us about your work in Kenya. What are you doing? I'm a feminist, I'm, a, I'm, an, I'm an activist, I'm a mother, I'm a sister, I'm a rights defender, I'm an agroecologist, so I do all this. I wear very many hats, but all these strings lead to one hat, which is um, so you define the women's movement. So I coordinate the World March of Women, which is an international feminist organizing from the ground. Yeah, and uh, we are transforming the world in our little ways. We are not here to change it all, but to transform just a little bit that we can. What's in the inspiration behind all this? My goodness, sadly I'm inspired by the very many atrocities that happen around the world. There's very little peace, there's a lot of war, there's a lot of occupation, there's a lot of... Um, so much is happening across the world and... You ask yourself as a human being, um, what's my purpose? And so I think my purpose is to help people to understand the situation, is to help us to analyze and to understand the root causes of our problems and to start demystifying them. And I know that uh, our problems are deeply rooted. We have so many systems of oppression that are connecting our struggles and um, I'm here to <clears throat> crush patriarchy and capitalism and imperialism. These are the strings attached to our struggles and yeah, so that's, that's, that's what I, I, I would do. Do you think women are heading in the right direction like globally? They've always been heading to the right direction. Women have always been heading the right direction because uh, women don't trash, you sit, analyze things. Uh, give it a proper contextual analysis, analyze why we want to do whatever, head to that direction, and it takes time. It takes a process, and the process is usually like very long. Up to now, I think uh, the gains are massive, but uh, looking at capitalism and how it's constructing itself, it is it's very fast, it's way beyond, it's moving faster than, than the women's organizing. But uh, it's good that we can sit down and strategize again as women in the movement, as grassroots women, as social movements. We can uh, think about um, other progressive ways of building and constructing ourselves, especially women identifying and knowing that we are political subjects. So it's very important to, to have our political formations as women. Yeah. So we are heading to the right direction. We are sitting and critically analyzing stuff and getting to know where we need to go and how we need to go. Yeah, we are heading in the right direction, but uh, women are still being subjected to violence and discrimination. What would you say about that? It's a patriarchal world. Patriarchy has been ruling over, so we have so much to unlearn especially coming from a, an African women's uh, background. We have so many things that have, um, that were imposed in our lives, you know, uh, born in patriarchy, raised in the patriarchal societies, uh, surrounded by cultures that are very patriarchal. And, uh, you know, I'm a Christian, and I'm a, but also I can tell you that uh, religious fundamentalism around around women, um, you know, all this uh, uh, joined together really uh, builds and creates and makes patriarchy stronger. So you find that... Um, but culturally, like, maybe where you come from, sometimes feminism is confused with uh, disrespect. Uh, maybe you can shed some light on that? Definitely. Um, for us, I think just 
standing in a podium and telling people I'm a feminist sometimes comes with very different notions and people sometimes have questions because there are these notions that feminists are women who don't get married, there are women who beat men, there are women who are only out there to, to fight, they are always whining and I want to say no because there are very many feminisms. We have African feminism. Looking back to our history, we know that we had a lot of, um, you know, Africa. Feminism is actually Africa. Colonialism came here. When colonialists came to Africa, they actually adopted all the good systems and the cultures that we had. One of those was feminism because they realized that communities, you know, like feminist is a way of life. It's not a season, it's not an event, it's not a particular thing. But feminism is something that um, everybody should adopt. It's a way of life. It's, you know, as a woman, if I see another woman suffering, I won't be happy. I'll stop by and help and support, and that's feminism. And so, you know, we have uh, our cultures that when you go to a home state, it is Mama, Mama so and so's house. Mama Sophie's house. It will not be Mama Sophie's house. And so the woman culturally, given the culture, the African culture, is that has a home. So for me, I think uh, people need to go back and understand and unlearn. We have so much to unlearn and so much to relearn. Because the unlearning, we are unlearning like I'm 40 plus, you know. So I'm learning 40 years, I'm, I'm learning 40 years plus of intoxication and, uh, and uh, brainwashing that was imposed on me, either intentionally or unintentionally. So we have so much to learn and unlearn. So I think uh, feminism is a great thing. If you're not a feminist, I don't know what you're doing. Please stop these notions. <laughs> so. Maybe your parting shot and an inspiring shot to the women of the world, what would you say? I just want to say that uh, nobody said that the struggle is going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. We are going to dismantle patriarchy. We are going to analyze. First, we need to identify ourselves. Who are we and what do we want? We already know that we are the political subjects and our, our, all our struggles are political. So we have to give it a political direction and start organizing ourselves from the ground as political subjects. And at World March of Women, we have this thing that we say that we'll continue marching because we are marching, we are on the march until all women are free. Peace. Thank you.